Yo, what's good guys? So this weekend marked the toy show from Tamashi in Paris and with it we've got a couple new looks at some of the upcoming figures. So we're going to kick things off here with the one and only Goku Black. This is still a prototype I believe, there is no release date on its tag yet, it says TBC. What that could be standing for in French, I'm still not quite sure. However, this prototype looks pretty cool. At first I had my, you know, reservations about Goku Black's figure. You know, because we've all had our fill of palette swap Gokus by now. Especially when you're paying pretty much $50 plus per figure, it's a hefty price tag. But looking at this prototype here, it seems like just the hair sculpt alone looks pretty different than Goku's regular sculpt. Mind you, we haven't seen base Goku in 2.0 articulated form yet. Now we move down to the toes, I think the boots are one of the highlights of this figure because it's simply a completely different shade than the rest of the figure, it really makes it pop. So my biggest reservation with this figure is whether or not Tamashi is going to include a Super Saiyan Rose head sculpt. Do you think they will? I mean what do you guys think, are you still going to pick it up if Tamashi plays that card and tries to sell us? two different iterations of Goku Black, with the only difference between the two being the head sculpt. I think that would be a pretty shady move, and I think they're going to get a lot of backlash from the Western culture anyways. I'm not sure how the Japanese culture reacts to that kind of thing. Moving on, we just got an updated look at SS3 Goku, and he looks pretty sick. I was worried that he would look way too glossy. Some people were worried that he looks pale. Biceps look proportionately larger than the rest of the Super Saiyan transformations, so that was what I was looking for, as weird as it was, but Super Saiyan 3 should have more muscle mass than regular Super Saiyan. And the hair does not look too glossy at all. I think the figure looks fantastic, and I'm hyped for this figure to come out. Alright, so I think this is the sickest reveal or preview at the toy show in Paris, and that is Majin Vegeta. Here he is with this little finger pose here that's different than any other Vegeta we've got, and I believe that represents his atomic blast. I think he looks pretty cool, the M looks well done, because you know how it is, wearing eyeshadow usually means you're possessed and all. But I'm so happy to see that we finally have a Boo Saga outfit on Vegeta, it's cool. Like finally, we can take this man out of the Saiyan and sell Sagas and have a display with him in it. I think the hair looks pretty cool. I'm happy to see that it does look different than Super Saiyan Vegeta or Super Vegeta, as some people refer to it. Um, and again, it could just be the lighting. Whether or not they change this, we don't know. Now, the one thing I wanted to point out here with Majin Vegeta is a lot of people are demanding, including myself, him to come with a Super Saiyan 2 head sculpt. And there has been some backlash over the fact that he's coming out as a Super Saiyan 1 head sculpt. But the thing is, if you go back and watch the anime, Dragon Ball Z, you'll note that Majin Vegeta actually becomes Majin Vegeta in Super Saiyan 1. That's right, folks. So, I mean, I get where Tamashi is coming from, wanting to take iconic moments from the anime and represent them with figures, but I think that the transformation to Super Saiyan 2 as Majin Vegeta was more iconic than the initial. And lastly, we just have a group shot here of them in different poses. I'm hyped, man. Like, I mean, I think out of these figures shown here, the only figures that I'm not going to pick up are Kid Goku and quite possibly the Saiyan Scout of Vegeta since I've got the original. But yeah, what do you guys think? Are you still going to pick up Goku Black if he does not come with a Super Saiyan Rose head sculpt? Are you going to wait and try to see if Tamashi releases a better version with the Super Saiyan Rose head sculpt? Are you finally happy with how Super Saiyan 3 Goku looks? And what are you guys' thoughts on Majin Vegeta head sculpt wise? Is this figure going to be scratching your Majin Vegeta itch? With the way it is right now or would you rather it come with a super saiyan head sculpt as well let me know in the comments below and i'll see you guys on the next video till then peace